in this first tutorial of creo we will learn some basic sketch commands click on new then select sketch then click on ok at first we will learn about line command here is the line command click on it then give the first point and take your cursor away if your line is straight then it will show H for horizontal line and if your line is inclined it will not show anything and if your line is vertical it will show V as for that you have to decide which type of line you want to draw I want to draw horizontal line click the point then to stop line command here press scroll button once it will stop the line and if you want to come out of the line command you will again have to press scroll button once then it will stop the line command now it is showing the dimension automatically by double clicking on it you can change the dimension and press enter if you want to pan the screen press the scroll and drag the mouse it will pan the screen to create inclined line again click on line give the first point take your cursor away and click there press scroll again press scroll it is showing the angle automatically by double clicking on it you can change the angle and if you want to give length to this line click here on normal select the line take your cursor away and press scroll it will give the length you can change it press enter to remove these entities click on it and press delete on the keyboard it will remove the entities if you want to create some reference center line then here is the center line command click on it give the first point give the second point again give the first point give the second point I want one more here then press scroll button to come out here you can control the gap between the center lines then to create circle here is the circle command center and point click on it give the center point give the radius point again I want to create one more here give the center point give the radius point press scroll to come out by double clicking on it change the diameter now if you want to create tangent line to these two circles click on the arrow near the line and select this line tangent click on the first circle click on the second circle then again click on the circle click on the other circle to come out press the scroll button then if you want to trim this portion here in creo it is called as delete segment click on it and click on the object you want to remove and by rotating scroll towards you you can zoom the screen by clicking here you can zoom fit again rotate the scroll towards user it will zoom the screen from here you can zoom fit again to stop the delete segment press scroll button and if you make some mistake if you want to undo you can undo it from here the shortcut for undo is ctrl z or click here it will undo the last activity and if you want to cancel the undo you can redo from here keyboard shortcut is ctrl plus y click on redo to cancel the undo using delete segment you can delete the part also just drag the mouse it will delete all the entities that is crossed by your mouse select this entity and press delete button the next is ellipse there are two types of ellipse are there axis end ellipse and center and axis ellipse we will use this center and axis ellipse click on it give the center point take your cursor away click the second point and click the third point and press the scroll and from here you can give the parameters for the ellipse this is the one method other method is axis end ellipse in this at first you will have to give two axis end points give the first axis end point give the second axis end point and give the third point and press the scroll button and change the dimension now here dimension is not given for this vertical line because it has taken that 
automatically from this. This L1 L1 indicates the both the parameters are same. And if you want to give different dimension for this, then click on this normal, click on this line, take your cursor away and press the scroll. Now here equal constraint is applied. I don't want that equal constraint and I want to change this dimension. Then click on this equal length and delete it. Then you will be able to change the parameter. I don't want this. Just select the object and delete it. To create any object, take the command and create the object. Suppose I want to create one object like this. Then it will track the points automatically. Press the scroll button, press the scroll button. Then double click and give the dimension. That is the normal workflow. And if you don't have some dimension, using normal you can place the dimension. Take your cursor away, press the scroll and give the dimensions. Now if try to give dimension for this, it will give over constraint because I have given this total height and I want to place this length also. Then I will have to decide which dimension I want to show whether I want to show this three dimension or this dimension. Suppose I don't want this 10 dimension then you can select that dimension and click on delete. Then you can from here you can change it. In this way you can resolve the over constraint sketch. To come out of the normal press scroll button. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.